His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to the kingdom yesterday evening after an official visit to Russia, where His Majesty held talks with the Russian President Vladimir Putin, focusing on friendship and cooperation relations between the two countries and ways of bolstering them. The talks also tackled the latest developments in regional and international arenas. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 15th anniversary of the National Action Charter. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed greetings to His Majesty the King, adding that the National Action Charter came as a result of the vision and wisdom of His Majesty for the purpose of the Kingdom's progress and development, as well as meeting the aspirations of the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness to continue the development march. In response, His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister thanking him for his earlier cable on the occasion of the anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Majesty the King made reference to the achievements made and highlighted the constructive role and the experience of the Prime Minister in meeting the aspirations of the people of Bahrain in terms of freedom, democracy and economic development. His Majesty the King wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking the 15th anniversary of the adoption of the National Action Charter. His Royal Highness expressed utmost congratulations to His Majesty the King on the Kingdom's celebrations of the 15th anniversary of the endorsement of the National Action Charter. His Royal Highness affirmed that the approval of the National Action Charter proved the compatibility of the will of the people with the vision of the leadership and was an opportunity for the Bahraini citizens to showcase their noble patriotic feelings and aspirations and appreciation of the prosperous march spearheaded by His Majesty the King for the sake of meeting the aspirations for more progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness affirmed to spare no effort to achieve His Majesty the King's noble aspirations for more welfare and prosperity for the Bahraini people through carrying on ambitious development and economic plans and safeguarding the security and stability. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah Almighty to bless the King with abundant good health so as to continue the development and progress march in the Kingdom. In response, His Majesty the King sent a similar cable in which he expressed his keenness to achieve further development and achieve aims and aspirations of the Bahraini people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Chairwoman of the Supreme Council of Women, Her Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 15th anniversary of the National Action Charter. In the cable, Princess Sabika conveyed congratulations and greetings on the occasion of the Charter that established the right of Bahraini women in political participation. She said that the National Action Charter is something that matched the determination of the people with the vision and aspiration of its leaders which made Bahrain a model for reform and modernization. Princess Sabika added that the mission of the National Action Charter has reaped positive results and achievements, including women's rights and issues. This, she said, is attributed to the strong belief of His Majesty the King in the women's role, their participation, and efforts in serving their country. Princess Sabika wished His Majesty the King every success in continuing work and accomplishments for the benefit of the kingdom and its people. In response, His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to Her Highness Princess Sabika, thanking her for her earlier cable and highlighted the Princess's role in national and social work and in chairing the women's sector, preparing them for the major and important role women play in terms of society bonding and guiding women to the path of freedom, democracy and development. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking the 15th anniversary of the adoption of the National Action Charter. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his appreciation for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's remarkable efforts exerted in the development of the Kingdom in various fields, aiming at achieving the aspirations of the Bahraini people, wishing His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health. In response, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in which he held His Royal Highness's efforts and support to development march in the Kingdom. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of achieving the fourth and fifth place by the Bahrain Royal Equestrian Team in the United Arab Emirates President Cup Championship. His Highness hailed this achievement, which reflects His Majesty the King's remarkable support to the equestrian sport. His Highness also expressed his congratulations to UAE's President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, for the outstanding organization of the championship. Fifteen years ago, 98.4% of the Bahraini population voted to endorse the National Action Charter, ushering in an era of reforms in different fields. Hamad Chaban sheds more light on the advancements made during the last 15 years in this report. Bahrain is celebrating the 15th anniversary of the endorsement of the National Action Charter. The document put forth by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in 2001, laying the basis and foundations of the process of reform which ushered the country to the civilized constitutional status it enjoys today. The charter, which was endorsed by 98.4% of the population on February the 14th of 2001, was the steering wheel for countless achievements in the kingdom, as is evident by the gains made in the political, economic, social and cultural and human development arenas during the past 15 years. The charter set the path for a package of political changes, paving the way for the new constitution and the national parliamentary elections, with the establishment of a new legislator, the National Assembly. The charter brought in an era of political openness and various civil societies were formed and allowed to exercise their full and free democratic rights. The number of NGOs grew exponentially after the endorsement of the charter to reach over 600 by 2015. The charter also ushered in an era of freedoms of speech and the press, with the daily and weekly publications going up from 4 to 14 in the past decade, representing different schools of thought. The government has also made strides in the field of human rights, establishing the National Human Rights Institute in 2010 based on international standards and closely cooperating with the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, which in turn led to the promotion of tolerance and coexistence between the different sects in the kingdom. On the economic front, the National Action Charter laid the foundations of the Economic Vision 2030, which sets an objective of diversifying the economy and the sources of national income to face the different challenges while reinforcing the role of the private sector and ultimately improving the citizens' living standards. These gains were evident in the different ranks Bahrain scored in global index reports, including the Heritage Global Economic Freedom Report for 2016, where Bahrain was first in the region and 18th worldwide in terms of economic freedom. The kingdom was also globally praised for its advanced infrastructure and communication means, competitive prices and skilled workforce. Significant social gains have also been made during the past 15 years thanks to the National Action Charter, key amongst which is women empowerment with the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women and the growing role of women in government making up 50% of the workforce and holding high positions including within the cabinet, the National Assembly, the judiciary and serving as ambassadors. The National Action Charter continues to be celebrated for it remains a pillar for the positive change and advancement of our beloved kingdom. Fifteen years since 98.4% of the population said yes to the National Action Charter and 15 years of different achievements in the various fields. The wheel of reform continues despite the different challenges with a vision of achieving the most prosperous future for the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Hamid al-Shaban, Bahrain Television News.